on Super Bowl Sunday. How about some Super Bowling? After losing to LeBron James last year, Chris Paul is back with a vengeance, trying to win his tournament against the likes of Ludacris. 2006 Super Bowl MVP Heinz Ward and fellow Pittsburgh Steeler Lamar Woodley. These stars will be paired with four of the biggest and best talents in the world of bowling next on the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Joint Reserve Base here in New Orleans, Louisiana. ESPN welcomes you to the second annual Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Talents from all spectrums of the entertainment industry are here, including the host, NBA great Chris Paul. And happy Super Bowl Sunday to you. Glad you're warming up the couch with us. I'm Rob Stone. We have stars from the screen, from the music from basketball, football, and even bowling. But we begin our celebrity gawking with the host of this year's event, Chris Paul. And last year, you came in second place. I noticed the winner, LeBron James, not here this year. That's some good scheduling on, yeah. your, on your part. Yeah, I told him to come out here, but uh, he was a little bit scared and didn't show up. Oh, I like the smack talk, <laughs> especially when he's not here. So you're matched up with Jason Belmonte this year. Have you ever bowled with the two-handed bowler before? I haven't bowled with him before, but I've definitely seen him bowl many a time. All right, now, now give me the lowdown on some of the other celebrities that we're going to see here and their bowling skills. Well, we're going to see their bowling skills. You know, uh, all of them have their own different styles and stuff, <laughs> and we're, and we're going to see what it's like with the lights on and the pressure here, so it should be fun. You're the favorite again this year, right? I, was, I hope so. I hope so. I just want to win. Last year was pretty embarrassing losing this whole thing, especially to Braun, but uh, I got to win this year. It's tough giving your trophy with you on it to somebody else. Tell me it? about it, especially <laughs> when you go um, – see it at their home you know so <laughs> we got to win it this year all right well we continue our red carpet treatment we go down lane randy peterson standing by with his best buddy ever Ludacris. how did you know thanks rob i'm with a three-time grammy winner and Ludacris, you've performed in front of millions you've done television and movies but this is the first time bowling on television how does right. it feel it feels good man i'll be honest i mean you know i don't want to embarrass chris you know at his own charity event so i'm gonna take it a little light on him you know what i mean and I think that's what's important, but I'm going to be real. We're here to have fun. We're here to give back, and that's what I'm here to do. Well, well we all knew you were a great guy. And listen, I just have one more question. Yeah. Um, my kids are huge fans, and they wanted me to ask you something. <laughs> what's that? Uh, when can you come over for dinner? <laughs> yeah, y'all have chicken and beer over there? Anything you want. Okay, I'm coming. Chicken and beer. Let's do it. There you go, Rob. Thanks. Salute, Chris. <laughs> Two semifinals, Chris Paul teamed up with Jason Belmonte. They'll be taking on the team of Ludacris and PD Dub Pete Weber. The second semifinal, Pittsburgh Steelers, Lamar Woodley and Norm Duke taking on another Pittsburgh Steeler, Heinz Ward and Wes Malott. Here's how this doubles competition will roll. The pros will bowl on one lane, the celebrities on the other lane, and then they will alternate frames for a combined score. And we are set for action, and semifinal number one, Jason Belmonte teamed up with Chris Paul. And Jason, what kind of advice uh, did you give CP3 before he starts here? Well, you know, Chris is actually a pretty, uh, pretty good bowler, so I just said to him, you know, play your natural game, and he kind of looked at me and went, I don't think that's going to work. So <laughs> we, we kind of said, all right, well, let's come up with a game frame pretty quick. But I think we've got him lined up, so... You know, if the other guys can hear me right now, they're going to have to do some striking because because my partner here is he's loaded. He's got strikes galore. All right, here we go. First ball. Nervous? I am. I, I like that shape though. Yeah, move all the way over. Go straight at it. You didn't tell him about the plastic ball, did you? Uh, what? He doesn't like the plastic ball, yeah. Yeah, no. Probably make it a little bit easier to pick this up, too, huh? Chris says when he builds Watch his dream house, now. he wants two to four lanes installed into it. I love it. Has his own bowling shoe, courtesy of the Jordan line. Oof. You got to pick, pick it up, All right. I'll see what we can do. And the air ball <sighs> from Mr. Paul.
Up now, Ludacris from Atlanta, GA. Oh, going there. Brooklyn. Ah. All right, all right. Oh, Come on now. That's all right. You can do this. Not really, but. Oh. <laughs> oh. I got you. <laughs> At least I hope not. You probably got more than I'm going to get. At least I hope not. All right, Chris, come on now, pick it up. <laughs> great personality. Oh, what a great guy. Yeah. Got a chance? Yeah. Yes! Spare for Ludacris. <laughs> so Ludacris <laughs> sits down and his partner PDW fires up. Both of them sporting the glasses tonight. Team. <laughs> America! Take notice of PDW and Ludacris. Those two go way, way back, uh, back to this afternoon when they first met. <laughs> PD Dub finished third last week at the tournament named in honor of his father, the Dick Weber Open in Fountain Valley, California. 34 Lumber Liquidator PBA Tour titles on PD Dub's resume. Jason Belmonte, one tour title last season on Long Island. Yeah, and not just PD Dub. I was trying to change sides. That side right there wasn't good to me. You take the basketball court after halftime. Hey, now. I'll pass that one. That was good. This is the best part about the tournament. Oh, God. Is the just conversations like, that go on. I just like, like to sit back and listen. Oh. Looking for a double. Brooke. Time now for an ESPN Bioblast on Chris Paul. The star guard for the New Orleans Hornets was the 06 NBA Rookie of the Year. Won the Olympic gold medal in 08. Part of that Redeem team is favorite musical artist, Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, and of course, Ludacris. And yeah, the singers like Chris mentioned in the Ludacris song MVP, I'm on point like CP3. Love it. Ludacris born in Champaign, Illinois. Lives in Atlanta, Georgia right now. Way wide left. Trouble. Yeah. Ugly mess. I can't even count them all. It's all part of a strategy. <laughs> uh, Ludacris, what is that strategy? You will see in one moment. <laughs> he with us. He with us. I'm not sure he has one between you and me, Randy. Doesn't matter. He's Ludacris. players wearing earpieces and microphones so we can converse with them in match. Weber trying to keep his team in it. They sit there with a 42 right now. 42 in the third. Oh, fresh on PD Dub. Oh, not good. Oof. Three, six, seven, ten. Oh, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dip, I think I heard out of that. Pete going to the plastic spare ball. And I love it when the pros go to the plastic spare ball and the, our celebrities just kind of look at them like, what are these guys doing now? <laughs> Just as well as Ludacris. Well, I get it, I'll practice that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This is 
regular bowling. This is not trick shot. <laughs> now, you know, I like to make it interesting as much as possible. Jason Belmonte, new dad. And his wife, Kimberly, in the new year, gave birth to a little girl, Aria Rose. Team Belmo and Paul pretty hot right now, up 26. Time now for Lumber Liquidators Know the Wood, and we're bowling on the Cheetah Oil pattern today, Randy. 35 feet in length, it's the shortest of the named oil patterns. We've got the adult bumpers to the outside part of the lane, very dry, the players will use the dry boards to create some friction and get their bowling balls to hook. Remember the Norm Duke won on the Cheetah Championship back in Detroit. Some double wood there for CP. If we want to spin at it, we're going to go a little to the right of that pin and just curve it around. But if you want to throw it straight, which is pretty tough, we'll move, over, move over. That's exactly right. All right. All right. <laughs> Time Can out. I get a 20? Can I get a 20? 30 second one. You don't do 30 second timeouts no more. Who said that? <laughs> 20. 20, <laughs> right, 20 seconds. Oh, oh, right with the straight one. Mm. Tough spare. Uh, I think we got a commercial now. It's all good. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. It ain't all good. Like a bit of an opening for Team Ludacris Weber. Ludacris up in the fifth wide right of target. Oh, spins going every one away. A little trash on the backside. So it's been a rough go for Ludacris. Had that great spare in the first, then an open frame six in the third. Here he is to close out the fifth. And he's a very generous individual with his time as well, just like Chris Paul. Don't hook. Don't hook. Almost right, kicked the field goal. Right, come on, take it off. Speaking of field goal, we got a couple of Pittsburgh Steelers coming up a little bit later in the show. Heinz Ward, Lamar Woodley. By the way, I, I was standing next to Lamar Woodley. There he is on the right. Yeah, can I just say, uh, oof, what a huge man. Yeah. the conclusion of our first semifinal when we return to New Orleans Chris Paul Jason Belmonte with an early lead the Chris Paul PBA celebrity invitational is brought to you by lumber liquidators hardwood flooring for less by Geico 15 minutes could save you 15% on car insurance by Bear Aspirin, expect wonders. And by the United States Bowling Congress, the all-new Bowl.com, your online source for all things bowling. Log on to Bowl.com today. Celebrity Invitational and Chris's New Orleans Hornet teammate, Peja Stojakovic, in the house right there with his son on his lap, taking in the events here. And we flash back to last year where this event was held in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. LeBron James stole the show. Kevin Durant was there. Oh, yeah, shake it, big man. Rudy Gay as well. And the host, Chris Paul, was teamed up with Chris Barnes in this one. Yeah, it was a good team until the... Uh, they kind of fumbled on that like, little chest bump thing, but it, too much LeBron, too much Jason Couch. And they are, oh, they're the defending champs. Unfortunately, Chris Paul, I guess, scared off uh, LeBron and didn't invite him back. What happened there, right? Uh, he, he wants his trophy. <laughs> he wants his tro there it I is, right you. there. Right, He's like, it, it pained me to give this to LeBron and see it in his house. I want it, I want it in my pad. 
So team Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte up by 27 in the sixth. Paul with an open frame in the fifth. Here's Belmo, bottom of the sixth. Jason Belmonte won Lumber Liquidator PBA Tour title on his resume. Last season, he won the Bowling Foundation Long Island Classic over his good buddy Michael Fagan. Won that one 215-201. Best finish this season, second at the Scorpion Championship. So Paul steps up now, looking for some back-to-back -back jacks. Two-time All-Star is the native of North Carolina. Played collegiately at Wake Forest University. There we go. That looks good. Mm. All right. That was all right. That was all with it. Though. Chris Paul trying to be Mr. Big Shot on that shot, but Mr. Big Shot in the NBA is Chauncey Billups. I don't know what kind of nickname we give right. CP3 in the bowling world. See what that like. uh, CP3? <laughs> can it just, I, I like can that it just one. stick? <laughs> I like that one. That's good. It's left, but not enough. Not you come around a little more. Go. Right now, you're kind of <laughs> right up the back. Right yeah, some good advice there. He's pretty forward and up yeah. the back, making that ball roll end over end. And that's why Chris isn't seeing the return down the lane. Here's Ludacris in the seventh. I just like saying Ludacris as yeah. much as I can. So do I. And you know what, quite honestly, when oh, he bowls, that. I don't care yeah. how many pins he knocks down. On, I just man, love it. watching you Ludacris. Uh, he was fortunate to get that 10 pin to drop late, so he's got a, he's got a shot at the spare here. See, I got that hand to kind of twist around a little bit. If I was on the bench and I was coaching, I would say, Ludacris, keep your hand up the back and roll it a little more end over end like Chris Paul's doing. All right, some bonus Bioblast info on Ludacris. Born Christopher Brian Bridges, a three-time Grammy Award winner, won the SAG Award for his role in the movie Crash. His latest album, Battle of the Sexes, set to be released in March. PDW's keeping keeping his team in this one. I didn't think it's safe on that one. <laughs> huh? I just think it's safe after I let it go. They still have life. Ludacris needs to get up in the ninth frame and throw one strike to get his team right back in. Maybe need to motivate Ludacris. I'd love to. Do I do I need to do I need to give him a little pep talk? Belmo here in the eighth. That was an angry strike. Can I go down? Hey, thanks, guys. Can I slide a little bit? Just a little. You know what? My, my back hurting a little bit. Can my partner bowl for me? Shoot. PDW. Yeah, we're getting close to the DUN time. Yeah, uh, let me tell you, Ludacris does not spend much time here. It, it's not a social outing here. He's up and he's firing. Get lucky. It's got a chance. Oh, oh. oh really? Oh, hard one. Just when I thought I had. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, good. It's 
all good. Pick it up. Oh, nice pickup. Nice pickup. That was, that was, that was plastic. Yeah, that plastic ball. Because I can get over there in the dry part of the land, right, and, then and it, it won't hook. hook so much. I can throw it normal, and it won't hook. Team Paul Belmonte up 57. They will move on to the championship match. Now, now the pressure's off. Cool. Just, uh. <laughs> Your host, Chris Paul, and the two-hander wonder from down under move on to take on well, we don't know who they're going to take on yet. It'll either be the team of Hines Ward and Wes Malott or the team of Norm Duke and Lamar Woodley. The second semifinal when our coverage of the Chris Paul PBA Invitational returns to New Orleans. One of the activities at the fourth annual Chris Paul Winston-Salem weekend took place in September and it featured a basketball clinic and of course a day of service where care packages were put together for U.S. troops overseas. And speaking of U.S. troops, we are here at Riverboat Lanes at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in New Orleans, Louisiana. Our continuing coverage of the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Time now to fire up the RV and go RV. Next week we are in Reno, Nevada, the third major of the season, the USBC Masters, live coverage on ESPN. And then after that, the Bear, Don, and Paula Carter mixed doubles competition coming away from just outside of Denver, Colorado. We'll be in Wheat Ridge for that one. Chris Paul has been a spokesperson for USBC for three years now, and his NBA star is certainly on the rise. It's his talent on the court and his popularity off of it that make events like today possible. Chris Paul has always looked good out on the hardwood. But basketball isn't his only love. And as I got older, we started going as a family. And when I got to college, me and a bunch of my teammates would go up there every Tuesday. There's no such thing as just friendly bowling with me, my brother, and my dad. Every time it's all right, let's go, let's go, let's see who's gonna win. It doesn't get much more competitive than the NBA, and that carries over to the lanes as Chris brings his basketball buddies out to the bowling centers. One of my best friends, LeBron James, uh, wasn't an avid bowler or whatnot, and actually put a, uh, two lanes in his house. So it's, it's, it's amazing how much that game of bowling has grown. And Chris uses the sport to help the folks who helped him get here. The CP3 Foundation gives thousands of dollars to charities in New Orleans and in his Carolina hometown. I realized that I didn't get to the position I'm in today by myself. There's so many different people who have helped me and gave me some great advice. And it's my way of giving back to uh, my extended family. And at this rate, basketball might have to take a back seat to bowling. Since I've joined uh, up with the USBC, how many people know me for bowling, not just basketball, and it's been a great experience. With USBC coaching, he's getting better all the time. Hey, I need to be keeping score or something. But he probably shouldn't quit his day job. To hear more from Chris and learn about his connection to bowling, log on to bowl.com and search Chris Paul. Up next, a pair of Pittsburgh Steelers hit the lanes. The team of Heinz Ward and the big nasty Wes Malott versus Lamar Woodley and Norm Duke. Plus, Chris Paul will join us in the booth next. Welcome back to ESPN's continuing coverage of the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Coming your way from Riverboat Lanes at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base right here in New Orleans. And we're joined now by the host of this year's event, Chris Paul. And uh, why the decision to hold it here this year? Because it's something different, you know, and to come over here and, and be with all these people that, like I said, that, that make all our freedoms possible. You know, they sacrifice their, 
their time and their lives day in and day out just to make sure that we can enjoy the things that we do. So I'm extremely grateful to be here and uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. So you are one win away from finally getting that trophy finally. of you. Finally. Uh, you know, it's a little odd maybe having that trophy in your house of you, is it? Or is, or is no, that just the way you roll? That's where it needs gonna... to be. <laughs> that's where it needs to be. It doesn't need to be at one of these guys' house. So then when I come visit them during the summer, they're sitting there taunting me. You know? <laughs> now, now, when you saw LeBron this summer, where was the trophy in his house? He has a bowling alley in his house or whatever. He has two lanes in his basement. And as you're bowling, it's sitting right there. It's sitting right there. I wanted to kick it off so bad, you have no clue. Maybe just swipe uh, it. You don't have to kick it. I mean, you're kicking. I'd steal it for yeah, you if you want. Yeah, just take it from him. Uh, 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 Randy knows where LeBron is. Yeah. I, I, he's got to be somewhere in Cleveland. You know, Cleveland's not that big a city. Exactly. I could go over there and heist it for you. I got no problem doing that. Yeah, your family is here in attendance, including uh, your new son, cleverly named Chris Paul yeah. II. And, uh, so much of your foundation is based on family, you know, from, from what your grandfather instilled in you. And tell me about what your foundation does and what you're most proud about. It. My foundation, uh, man, I, first I have to say my family, you know, my parents, my brother, everyone is so involved in it. And we started it back in my hometown of Mississippi, North Carolina. And we actually uh, fund scholarships to go to Wake Forest in remembrance of my late grandfather, Nathaniel Jones. And there's so many different things that we try to do. And uh, mainly it's about trying to help kids and, and give them the opportunities um, that will help them in life and help them uh, fulfill their dreams. All right, we got some more bowling. Coming our way. Can you hang with us? Can you, you hang with us? You be you be an, be a Randy Junior, be an analyst yeah, for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, I can do a little bit. All right, all right. Before we got to this match, though, we had a little mini match to start off the day. We had we had too many celebrities here, so we had this bonus five match game. Jack Del Rio, the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars, started off strong. His opponent, Lamar Woodley. Oh man, the nasty linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers and Woodley won it, going away down the stretch, winning at 70 to 42. So with that, Woodley moves on and he is now teamed up with one of the all-time greats in bowling, Norm Duke. Heinz Ward will start off first as one of the greatest receivers in Pittsburgh Steeler history. He has all the records, but you know, you gotta remember the Lynn Swans and the John Stallworths of the world. Your dad's styling, man. He is not. He's not. <laughs> he is not. Come on now. I love you, no. I love you. <laughs> so Hines Ward, start us off. Let's see what Hines has got in this game. Oh, he's himself a challenging pickup. And Chris, you being a big football fan, and I know that you watch a lot of football. Yes. Do you remember a receiver as tough as Heinz Ward? No, no. I mean, it's like he's got a steel head. It's crazy because as we were riding on the bus over here, I was talking to him because I, I played football in high school and stuff. I can't imagine that beating that he takes, you know, on a, on a daily basis or whatever. Playing receiver. Almost got it. Hey, now, Heinz gives it out as good as he takes it. That was a nice try right there. Uh, yeah, nice try. Oh, yeah. Yep. I mean, he's just he's just tough, period. Just tough. Speaking of tough, here, here comes Hines' teammate on the defensive side, Lamar Woodley. This is Hines' effort in the first, trying to clean that one up. No luck. Now, this ball. We got to make sure he don't break the pin. Yeah, he's going yeah. to break something as long as it's not me. Everything's all right. <laughs> here is Lamar, the University of Michigan grad. Woodley. I don't think it's I don't think it's a good idea to make him angry. You know? It's good. It's good. Gotta give him three for that. Teamed up with Norm Duke. All right, Chris, we, we got a question for here. This is today's more of what matters to you one a day fan question submitted by Rissy Lee Hadlow Hansen from Maryborough, Australia. How much bowling in practice do you fit into your schedule and do you bowl in any leagues? No, I don't bowl in any leagues. I wish I could. If, if time permitted, I would. I definitely would, but uh, I try to as much as I can during the season. With some of my friends and my family. Pedro Stoyakovich always has a big bowling event uh, for his foundation, so I always go to that. 
and then during the summer is when I really get get a chance to bowl. Now, who's the who's the ringer in the NBA circles as Duke picks up that spare? Who, who's the best bowler out there besides you? And you got you got to throw the king a bone, right? I mean, he won your tournament last oh, year. Oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No. You know, you know he paid me a couple couple to drop these in on no. you. Uh, some of the guys that I, I know can bowl pretty well. Uh, guys like Julian Wright, my teammate. He's a he's an avid bowler. Uh, Dwight Howard, um, Speedy Claxton, Gilbert Arenas. You guys. There's Wes Malott. Uh, Wes fits right in with all these football guys outside of the gutter ball. Seriously, Wes? Hey, hey. Do that God, is that the king of the hill that just did that? I think in football they would call that wide right if he was kicking a field goal. And, and that, is, that is the reigning player of the year. Just so That's big nasty bowling right yes. there. See now, the big nasty is posting up his partner, Heinz Ward. He make that look way too easy. Yeah. You know? See, that must be annoying for you, because basketball, when I'm watching you play basketball, I'm like, man, he looks that easy. So smooth, and now you get out here and you watch these guys. It's gotta be frustrating being the competitor in you that you can't compete at their level. Yeah, so right after this, we all should go play basketball. So. Yeah, you're good, now you're, now you're onto something. I got a couple good floor birds in me. I like these Steelers, their attitude out here. They, yeah. they get it out quick, you gotta and they come in hard. You gotta love Heinz Ward. He's always got a smile on his face. You know he's a competitor, but he's having a great time. It, and I gotta tell you, he, he wasn't he wasn't bothered a bit by that gutter ball by his partner. Still crazy to me to look at that's who was in that uniform. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Oh. Now it takes skill to pick that one out. Hey, he was throwing a little backup ball at it. I like it. <laughs> Try it something. Uh, the two teammates going at it. On the football field, at least. Do they go at it uh, against each other on the practice field? Uh, I, I, I would think Hines I mean, has kind of like a yellow jersey Hines, on where Lamar lays off on Hines him. Hines coming over the middle, you know, and, and uh, there's Lamar waiting for him. Now, here's Wood, 6'2", 265 from Saginaw, Michigan. Watch out, Pins. Watch out! Now, what a great combo. Lamar Woodley and the diminutive Norm Duke. Storman Norman, a righty from Claremont, Florida, in his 28th year on the tour. One tour title this season that came with the Cheetah Championship back in August, part of the World Series of Bowling. Now, Norm is working on a bum ankle as well. Almost couldn't go today. Sprained it. Game time just, decision. That's right, just yes, a few sir. hours ago, and it's uh, his plant ankle, that left ankle. What bum ankle? He's still making it work. Yeah. Just pure adrenaline right now. See, they need to make high top bowling shoes now, apparently. <laughs> well, he didn't right. hurt it bowling. It's not just it's not just for the hardwood that Chris plays on, it's the hardwood out here. Here's Malott, bottom of the fourth. Big nasty's back. That short follow through just kind of flips it off his wrist. Heinz Ward has completed his 12th year in the NFL. 895 career receptions. 12th all-time in NFL history. Almost 11,000 receiving yards. Time now for more on the 33-year-old Heinz Ward, who was the MVP of Super Bowl 40 back in 2006. A four-time Pro Bowl selection, and he is the Pittsburgh Steelers' career leader in receptions, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. Oh man, I needed a prayer right there. I need a gutter ball. <laughs> All right, so we go back to Lamar Woodley here in the fifth. He struck in the third. Oh, that's pretty close. That ten pin jumped out of the house. Garth Brooks uh, wanted to be here and, and take part, but he is financially, he is 
donating a thousand dollars to your foundation for every strike thrown by the non professional bowlers. Right. Garth is a great guy who, who last year uh, I had an opportunity to, to partner with him, with his teammates for kids. And uh, throughout the season, there's a certain amount that I give for every layup, for every assist, for every point, uh, everything during the season. And uh, Garth Brooks. See, that's the hook you want, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's like a smooth three-point shot. So we got a tight one here in our second semifinal. Heinz Ward, Wes Malott, down 11 to the team of Lamar Woodley and Norm Duke, the winner to take on the host of our activities, Chris Paul, and his teammate, Jason Belmonte, the conclusion of semifinal number two when we return to New Orleans. Welcome back to the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base here in New Orleans, Louisiana, home of a lot of F-15s flying around here. Approximately 6,500 military reservists and civilians live here on the base. One of them, that man, the commanding officer of this base, Captain Bill Snyder. Quick glance from a distance. He looks a little bit like Walter Ray Williams, Jr. So here is Wes Malott, bottom of the sixth. His team down 11. Oof. 210 split. That's nasty. That's oh. nasty. Hmm? Norm Duke with the commentary back there. That's oh, nasty. Yeah, he's right. You know, it's a tough spare or a tough split rather. 210 split. Looks like West just misses this just a bit at the bottom of the swing. The ball just doesn't hook up hard enough. On you. you need oh. me to get us? The big, nasty Wes Malott, the reigning player of the year. He won three tour titles last season to up his total to six Lumber Liquidator PBA tour titles. Still seeking his first victory this season. The best he's done, runner-up at the PBA World Championship in Wichita. Look for a little backdoor help there. Yeah, the one no three still standing. You don't get no strike. You're not yeah. a hell success, man. I got one more time. Crawling all on the floor and stuff, man. Yeah, I got sore knees. Act like you've been there before, man. Why is it set? straight. Just a little extra slide there on those house shoes. He was hoping. Right here, looking for a little backdoor. Doesn't happen. And Wes Malott and Heinz Ward, they need to get they need to get going here. He's got a chance. Mm. I just want to see him dance again. You yeah, know? I just want to see him dance happy. Absolutely. That's all I really want. <laughs> Here's more on the massive Lamar Woodley, 6'2", 265 from Saginaw, Michigan, named to the Pro Bowl this season. He was an All-American back at the University of Michigan. And he's the co-founder of Heroes for Kids. It's a golf tournament to benefit kids in his hometown of Saginaw, Michigan. That was a good shot. It's taking time out because I got to communicate with the people over I think here. you could fit like three I Norm Dukes and one Lamar Woodley. Yeah, it's throwing me off. And dropping all but the 10. I like that reaction though. That was a good one. Like, oh, I'll tell you what, he's doing pretty good for only having one leg to yeah. stand on. How you feeling, Norm? Man, I'm making it, Bo. I am behind. You need to strike. It's time for me to strike. No one right ankle hurt. Filling brains. 
Team Blue. That's what I'm talking about. That was a no-doubter. That was a no-doubter. There's the big nasty, and Chris Paul, he touched on it. He said, man, does he make it look easy? That's what I call efficiency of motion right there. There comes Heinz Ward, won the 06 and the 09 Super Bowl with the Steelers. MVP of that Super Bowl 40, and that was in on Super Bowl-like performance. I hope he picks up the spare again. <laughs> Hines, you, Hines, you get the spare. Do you have another dance for us? I got plenty of dance. All right, let's start dancing, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I got to pick this one up, though. To the right, straight at it. some fun now, Chris. Oh. Note to self, he's invited back. All right, give us a hammer right now. All right. He took it back with this one. Oh. Mm, four, four, six, ten. Ten. Bad time Ooh. for that. That was a good one. slipped on this, man. <laughs> Guess what? Heinz Ward, West Malott, right back in it. It's gonna come down. It's gonna come down to the pro partners in the tent. And look how helpful. Now that's a teammate for it. So <laughs> that's, that's all you got. A penny for your partner over there, your teammate. You know, man did a nice job. Yeah, we gotta we got we gotta renegotiate that contract. Yeah, we gotta do it. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised a man like Lamar nice Woodley's shot. even carrying change in his pocket. Yeah. He took a shot yeah. at that anyway. Yeah. All right, Norm Duke can strike out. Himself and Lamar will shoot 168. Wes Malant, Heinz Ward can shoot 160. Oh, I mean, Norm is dancing with the gutter devil, isn't he? Next one shuts out Heinz Ward and Wes Malant. Oh, here comes Hines. Yeah, oh, right. Hines yeah. wants to help out Norm, too, you know. He <laughs> <laughs> See, now you didn't. Oh, oh, hey, hey. He might have just shattered something. I think he just broke his hip. We're going to need an MRI. Stat. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar, I think he just fractured his hip. I can't say that. I can't say that. I don't think I've ever had that before. You know, he held this team together. Kind of got it good. <laughs> I've never seen that shade of red on Norm's face right now. <laughs> Come on, honey. One time. Starting to uh, take on a Harlem you know, Trotter feel. I don't think that one hurt near as no. bad as the first one because I think he's numb. It's like a spanking from him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Family charity Some event here, count. people. <laughs> so now you know your opposition. Duke and now it's Woodley versus Duke. All right, what, what are your thoughts on the title match, Chris? Oh, man. Competition there. So Malat close out the tenth here. Trying to finish strong, leaves the ten pin. You got robbed. And you didn't. No. No. <laughs> no. So Duke, who didn't even think he was going to be bowling a couple hours ago, moves on to the title game. With his new best buddy Lamar Woodley providing support from behind. Take on Jason Belmonte and Chris Paul. 
Man, you want, you're gonna get a strike today. You want me to get it? Right here. If he gets a strike, we're all gonna do the dance. <laughs> yeah, you too. for the Pittsburgh Pirates. A little friction on that lane. Hines is done. Our title match is still to come from the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. The Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational is brought to you by Roto Grip, the fastest growing bowling ball brand in the world. Roto Grip is king of them all. By Storm, bowlers serving bowlers. Storm is the bowler's company. By Atonic, visit atonic.com slash bowl. And by Barbazol, enjoy the rush America, new Barbazol Pacific Rush Shaving Cream. Bye. We welcome you back to the grounds of the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base here in New Orleans, Louisiana. We are coming away from the Riverboat Lanes. ESPN's continuing coverage of the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Rob Stone, Randy Peterson back here with you and approaching our title match. But first, the Geico Championship recap. Randall? Okay, Rob, well, in match number one, it was Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte. Combined for a nice 175, they take down Ludacris and Pete Weber. Oh boy, what a show they put on. And in semifinal number two, how about big Lamar Woodley and North Duke? I mean, bad intentions in that shot. He gives Norma a little pep talk there and a slap on the backside. And North gets up and doubles in the 10th to take down Hines Ward and West Malapin. Hines Ward's not done. He's like, hey, how about a swan dive? Uh, love it. So we are set for our title match. Lamar Woodley and Norm Duke versus Jason Belmonte and Chris Paul with Randy, are you ready for this? I am. Guest analyst, Ludacris. I've been ready for this. I can't wait. Next. back with us in New Orleans for our continuing coverage of the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. Take a look at the bracket, and we are getting set to kick off on Super Bowl Sunday, our title match. Great turnout here at the Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base in New Orleans, Louisiana today. Uh, some of the best from the PBA here, and some of the brightest names from the hardwood, the gridiron, and the Music and acting role, including this gentleman, Ludacris. Yes, yes. How did you get the name Ludacris, by the way? Ludacris, my first name is Chris, and, uh, you know, I was just being kind of creative when you think about the rhymes and the videos and kind of just, you know, Ludacris means beyond crazy, ridiculous, wild. That's basically where I came up with the name. So who has permission to not call you Ludacris? <laughs> my mama. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, it's something that a lot of people call me. They, they come up with nicknames, of course, Luda. Some, some women call me Ludi. I don't know where they get this stuff from, but it is what it is. He's going to hang out with Absolutely. you as we analyze the, the title match here. Of yep. The boy, Chris Paul. You, Chris, go way, way back. You guys have a nice little friendship going. Yeah, man. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my dog, man. That's why I'm here to support him. How'd you guys meet? Of course, man, I met through some friends, and, you know, just I'm just glad that he's doing this and giving back to charity. 
And so, like I said, I, I just think that's great. I think, you know, he's leading by example and trying to get everybody else to do the same thing. You have a foundation as well called the Ludacris Foundation. Tell yes. us a little bit about it. Ludacris Foundation geared towards, you know, giving back, of course, um, helping out underprivileged families and children, which is pretty much the same thing Chris Paul does, and that's why I'm here to support him. Even though y'all had me in the loser circle over there, you know. Those things happen. Those things happen. I felt like I was at the uh, little table for the kids <laughs> at Thanksgiving, <laughs> where they make the kids sit at the little table. But Every once good. in a while, you got to hang out there, right? Yeah, it's yeah, good yeah. for the ego. So here, here's your boy, Chris Paul, to start us off, teaming up with Jason Belmont. Paul, that looks good! Yeah. yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Some open rooting and standing up and cheering from Ludacris here. I love it. I, I think the only problem you had in your match, Chris, was you had a bad partner. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they stuck you with that Weber guy. I'm, I know my partner. He, he sucked, man. He was hitting strikes every time. <laughs> what do you think about the size of Lamar? When you take a look at this guy, could you imagine you on a football field and having this guy running at you? <laughs> I'm tripping, man. I'm, as, as he throws it extremely hard down that lane, too. Uh oh. <laughs> Woodley leaves the 10 pin. <laughs> Good stop, man. Oh, shit over there. Get there. Oh, that's all right, Marty. This is how you look at that, though. Look, look at it this way. Look, if all the pins would have been up, that would have been a strike. That's a big, that's a big man. With bad intentions on the football field. So how much bowling do you do? Hey, man, I, I really don't do. <laughs> I really don't do much bowling. You couldn't tell I don't do much no, bowling. No, you did all right, man. Here's Norm Duke. <laughs> the ten pin. Now, so when Chris told you you're going to come down here for a bowling tournament, what was your reaction? Outside of yeah, I'm going to help out my buddy, but yeah, man, you know I'm, I'm a. I guess you could say I'm a, I have a soft side for anything dealing with charity. So even though, you know, I might not be the greatest bowler, I still came to do the damn thing and lend my celebrity towards a good cause. So I was down. Was, yeah. As soon as he told me that he had a bowling, you know, celebrity bowling challenge, I was like, man, I'm down. So did you do any practicing before this? Did I do any practicing? Like, like I, you before know, you got here. My schedule is too rough. I didn't even get a chance to really practice, man. What do you think when you watch Jason Belmonte from Australia throwing in the two hands? Something I've never seen It's crazy, before. isn't it? Extremely interesting. goes to the left of the head pin, right. and, and they strike, and they call that a Brooklyn strike. Yeah, this, see, I now, I'm sure you've heard of the term ham bone, right? I've heard of ham bone. boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just being nice to yeah, you. Yeah, I know he is, and I'll accept it. Ham bone, ham bone, have you heard? There you go. So, Belmonte from Australia. I, I'd really like a chance to explain to you what just happened on that last shot he threw. Well, ask, ask Ludacris if that's all right. <laughs> can, I, can I do that after he shoots the spare? Right, so you, you saw that. You saw his first shot over hook, right? Right. Remember when Heinz Ward jumped out on the lane? Yes. You know how much lane oil he took off the lane? <laughs> that's why his ball over hooked. Exactly. And that's why I heard Chris Paul say right away, I want the left lane. I want the left lane. What are you doing, Tom? He's intimidating. Back on your own side lines. That's Woodley talking smack to Paul and the uh, bear breakdown today, courtesy of People Magazine's 100 Most Beautiful list. Chris Paul has made one, the rest of the field zero. Ah. Yeah, that's just, that's just disrespectful to Ludacris. It looked like this is going to be a close one, man. You thought he was going to slap you on the rear, Lamar just hates losing. I mean, I don't think it matters what game he's playing. It could be bowling, it could be playing football. It could be playing marbles. He just looks like the kind of guy that doesn't like losing. Chris Paul doesn't have a great taste for it either. Get over there. Uh, all right, we still got a close yeah. match. We got a close match. Yeah. Extremely close. Goodly <laughs> pumping Paul out of the way. See, what I want to see is I want to see Norm Duke pop out here and give Lamar a little, a little rub down and pat on the back. Here. <laughs> I think if Norm slapped Lamar on the rear end, he'd break his hand. Yeah! Uh, you got to sell your money on. Uh, 
Uh, what, what's what's mm. the competition? <laughs> I like I like this game right here. It's hurting people. My money's on the bar. Tap the ten, but it wouldn't drop. <laughs> Welcome back to New Orleans in the tour's final major of the season. The 67th Lumber Liquidator U.S. Open moves to Woodland Bowl in Indianapolis. It will be there February 21st through the 28th, and the event features one of the largest prize funds on tour, and it's open to all bowlers with a minimum of a 190 average. Don't miss your chance to compete for the prestigious title. Just head on over to PBA.com to enter or for more info. And I know Ludacris, PBA.com is certainly on your favorite tab on your computer. Big, you're, a big, you're a big fan of Extra Frame. Here's Jason Belmonte. Man, that was such a good shot. Let's see a pick that up. This is called a pocket 710. So I tell you what, I think Lamar Woodley would have a decent shot at this with the power he gets on it. Jason's got a ton of power to boot as well. Slams the 10, but no play. There's a couple of good ones out there, buddy. Right. Seven. Yeah. 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 That split there has only been made three yeah. times yeah. in the history yeah. of yeah. television. Yeah. I was wondering, man. Yeah. yeah, three times. Extremely difficult. But you knew that because you were on PBA.com and you saw the, exactly. the history. Yep. All the statistics. Right. Yep. Let's see what Mr. Paul has to offer. Down 14 to start the fifth. Uh, you know what I like? Every time Chris throws, he's walking away. You know what he's looking at? He's looking at his trophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love that, man. Corbett Austin, the Vice President of Operations for Storm Bowling, here in attendance. We appreciate all the hard work he and his company have done to make this event possible. That's three opens in a row. And they're digging themselves a big hole. And Lamar's, Lamar's getting quiet now. He's getting a little quiet on us. Hey, he's been quiet. He's focused, man. I'm telling you. Yep. Hey, Robin. Bad shots. We throw a couple of good shots. 13 and a half sacks this season. Type of third most of the season. Nice. That was a very nice shot right there. That could have been a shot. Hey, no. No. No, don't do that. Hey, tomorrow. We'll take that, we'll take that back to Pittsburgh, baby. Throw hard at it, man. <laughs> hard as you can to the far left. Sorry about that. It's all right. What do you do? Lead by 13 points. Oh. See, now Lamar See, came in there with a pretty hard hand smack with no hand. Oh, uh, no no something I've learned. Why you just trying to get my music? That hand, that hand is that's fragile, music. man. That pays the bills. Yeah, yeah. Careful with that, Lamar. There we go. Yeah, but he's got a great partner. One of the greatest this game's ever seen. I'll do the heavy one then, that time. I do the heavy See, ball. ball.
All right, here's CP3 in the seventh, big down 13. That was big. How about it? How about it? He'll do the flop onto the lanes as well. Oh, he yeah. slipped. Oh. It's still oh. down nine. All right. And that's seven. Down. Down. Right. Now, remember the seven the last time he was up on that right lane, he left the 10 pin. Somebody put the seven back up. That one shouldn't have failed. We got to get that checked out. I think y'all doing something to that pin over there. <laughs> That pen ain't he, failed all day. He's got this conspiracy yeah. theory. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's, against, music, everybody's the against him. It's the 10 pin. Oh, he made it. Hines is a bandwagon guy. He's, wherever the most smiles can be had, that's where he's, he's headed. Can't get to the Super Bowl, baby. We got to take yeah, something. <laughs> Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, tough, tough for those Steelers to be sitting on the sideline. Three-bagger, Rob, one more. And it's a hand bone. The pressure is on. You ready to scream hand bone if he strikes here, Ludacris? <laughs> I need a Grammy Award-winning hand bone. Oh, it's a chance. It's a chance. It's a chance. Oh, no. What could have been? Out of here. That's a good shot, man. That was, Five, a, that was seven, a really good shot. Split. Are we serious? Yeah. Very right. serious. So explain to me Get what that a hand bone right. is one more time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still right trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Right. So exactly just four strikes in a row. Four strikes in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you do is just yell hand bone. It's very right. easy. Gotcha. Yeah, yell loud. You usually stand Perfect up and right. swing your fist. Got it, got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Three strikes in a row is a turkey. Right. Four is a hand bone. I knew about the turkey. I didn't know about the hand bone. Yeah, not everybody knows. That's because I read it out like three years ago. Oh, he made it up. Got it. Four strikes in a row in our sport is called a four-bagger. Right. In Rob's sport, right it's called a hand bone. Okay, I got Which, it. What is more fun to say, Billy Chris? I like that hand bone. Thank you very much. All right. Who you with now? You can, you with? can you win a Grammy with four-bagger, or do you win it with ham? <laughs> with us. Let me just ask, why the with term ham bone? Well, I don't know. Why not, man? I'm working exactly. on turkey. Okay. I'm yeah, hungry. Got it. It's a great visual. Here's Woodley in the ninth. He's having some slippage issues. Oh, now it's back to the music. <laughs> I've been missing the music. We need to spare. <laughs> Stay in it. <laughs> now, if he, he needs to it. convert here to, to maintain the lead. <laughs> got a little sideways there. You see how his body's turning sideways? That's, that's the balance issue. Somebody poured a little Jerry Curl juice on the lane. <laughs> oh, the pickup! Did you say Jerry Curl juice on yeah, the show? Yeah, yeah, you didn't see the dude with Jerry awesome. Curl just walked across. We're, break, we're breaking new ground today, man. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, no, no, I'm baby. No, next two strikes to shut us out. Randy's hyperventilating <laughs> next to you right now <laughs> due to the Jerry Curl line. You guys obviously did not see well, the guy with the Jerry Curl <laughs> walk <laughs> straight across while the cameras were not looking. See, you got the glasses. You can work the peripheral vision. Exactly. I, don't, I don't see this stuff. They right. catch me oh, staring at him. Uh-oh, here we go. Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, all right. Lamar's upset. Uh, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right, here's the deal. Hey, two, strike, two strikes here in the 10th frame, and Norm and Lamar are going to win this. Same situation Norm was in the last time. The crowd knows Norm. One more, and it's game over, man. Game over. Here we go, here we go, Lamar. Yeah. Yeah, he 
he'd have to get... We look alike, don't we? <laughs> Separated at first. He then have to basically just... Hey, pull it hey. Off. Don't strike right hey, here. All right, Chris. Hey. Don't strike right here. Hey, mind your own business, man. <laughs> mind your own business, man. Here, Lamar. Unfortunately, he's pretty good in these circumstances. Watch out for that, Jerry. Oh, oh no way! The Jerry Coach you, Juice this, got him, man. Jerry, I'm telling you. Parker has my spot here. If yeah, I spot that guy, that guy with that Jerry Curl, I'm telling you, we need to arrest him on sight. What's what? <laughs> it should be illegal to walk across the ladder with dripping Jerry Curl Juice. Here we go, Lamar. Yeah! There you go. Who's your dad? Can't be fun. That's gonna leave a mark. Here's Duke to close out the tent. And he picks it up. Men's had a good note. And it's 277 for Woodley Duke. Man, I'm sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, dog. All right, well, here's Norm's shot. It's gonna go high. Gets that one wide early, right through the nose. Come on, baby. Now, Chris Paul <laughs> and his partner know that they have a chance. Jason Belmonte right now needs two strikes and eight in ends. For Chris Paul to bring home the trophy. I can't wait to see Sorry, we're not out Lamar's out reaction if Jason doesn't get the strike. It's going to be priceless. Look up. We'll have some pride in your teammate. Yeah. <laughs> Look another way, man. You need he your support when he hit this, when he leave about three pins out there. That's Look. Lamar Woodley you hear right now. Belmonte needs the strike. Has to have the again. And gets it! That's why we pay you the big bucks to be our bowling analyst, Ludacris. Exactly. I'm taking both of you off paychecks. As soon as this is over. Yeah, again, we'll, we'll be able to buy one-tenth of that stud in your ear with that. Uh, what are you going to say? <laughs> See, that's what I'm arguing about. Seven for the tie, eight for the win. The Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational is brought to you by Harrah's. Lumber Liquidators, hardwood flooring for less. By GoRV. Visit GoRV.com for a free video. Go affordably. GoRV. And by One-A-Day Men's 50-Plus Advantage, the multivitamin with more of what matters. The team of Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte, a late surge, strikes in the 6th, 7th, 8th, and through the 10th for the 180-177 victory spiked by the dive.
from your host, Chris Paul, who finally wins his Celebrity Invitational. And your winner, standing by, lakeside with Randy Peterson. Chris, congrats, you finally pulled it off. What does it feel to be able to take that trophy home? It's great, it's a great feeling. Uh, it's a tough match with, with Lamar and Norm, but uh, Jason is a champ, I'm gonna let him hold this. You know, he, he uh, has a, a five-day-year-old daughter and he sacrificed that to come down here and put on a show like he did, so thank you. Oh, Chris, that, that means a lot. Cheers, man, I really do appreciate it. So now if LeBron was here, what would you say to LeBron? To put his trophy down, we put that one in there, me and him versus Jason, Jason Couch and Braun. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. We ought to have a rematch. Thanks very much. Congrats. Now, Jason, I got to ask you, all the pressure that, that you had getting up in the 10th frame, knowing what you needed to do to win, you got Lamar behind you, you got Heinz Ward back there, no telling what they're going to do. How'd you pull it off? I was a little worried because I overheard the whispers back there, you better not get this one, kid. And I was <laughs> a running back and a linebacker saying, you better not get this one. So I was a little scared. Yeah. But uh, look, you know, just to throw three really good shots to uh, to put Chris's name on his own uh, own trophy, it means a lot to me as well. So, uh, and I really appreciate everything that the uh, celebrity guys here do because, uh, you know, they, they really are top blokes. Congratulations, guys. Way to go. Thank you. Great time here in New Orleans. Next week, we're on the road. Reno, Nevada, the USBC Masters. Special start, start time for that one, 3 p.m. Eastern, New local. Coming away from the National Bowling Stadium in Reno, Nevada. Looking forward to that one. So the team of Chris Paul and Jason Belmonte win it all. 180-177 victory over Norm Duke and Lamar Woodley. For Randy Peterson and our analysts, Chris Paul and Ludacris, and our entire crew, I'm Rob Stone. So long from New Orleans. Enjoy the rest of your Super Bowl Sunday.